We ended our last video with the basic measures necessary for Zebra BI visuals. We now have our model ready, so let's build the first part of our dashboard using Zebra BI tables. Let's start by bringing the visual to our canvas. We go to the Visualizations pane and click on Zebra BI tables. Now if we simply move it by drag and dropping, we can now bring in the business units and revenue AC. As you can see now, we have a simple integrated bar chart in our table. And if we now click on the column title, we can switch between three different sorting options. So by default, it will be sorted by descending, but we can also switch to ascending sort order or the custom Power BI sort order, which we can then change by clicking on the three dots. Now let's bring in the previous year because any comparison will give you more insight into how we are doing than no comparison. So if we click again on the visual and bring in the previous year into the previous year bucket, you will see that Zebra BI will automatically bring in besides the previous year uh, measure, it will bring in two automatic calculations for the absolute and relative variance. And if we now bring in the plan, you will see we get additional calculations for this comparison measure. Now everything inside the visual has IBCS formatting applied by default. And we can now customize almost every element of the visual. We can have uh, our basic measures as just numbers and uh, uh, variances as uh, integrated charts. Or we can switch uh, the basic measures to charts and display the variances as just numbers by clicking on the settings in the column title. Now if we change the basic measures columns into the bar charts, you will see again here the IBCS formatting is applied. And note that the scaling between all the elements remains consistent in order not to skew the view and give you the wrong idea of performance. We have further customization options. So if we want to, for instance, display all our basic measures in a single column, we can click, simply click on the settings and select an overlapped bar chart. Now, here the plan and the actuals uh, and the previous year are all displayed on the sim this single column. Now, if we don't want to duplicate the information, we can simply hide the unnecessary columns by clicking on the settings and hide columns. And if we then later want to uh, bring them back, you will find them here. We can also switch between layouts into a basic table view that can be further customized and save time and space when creating multiple views. So we can hover here and click on this basic table view. With this brief overview, let's continue building our sales dashboard. Let's say that we want to build a view that highlights the variances and is focused on analyzing our worst performing business units in each division compared to plan. We can highlight the variances by clicking on the individual column settings and selecting the background fill and changing it to a light gray. So for this instance, we can simply add in the RGB values and copy the same value, save this one and apply it to all the columns with the variances. Now to get a better perspective on how we are doing with our plan comparisons, let's change the plan variances to the integrated bar chart and also the relative variance to the pin chart. We can also rearrange the columns by simply drag and dropping it in the correct place. We also want to reduce the duplication of information, so let's search the visual settings here in the Format pane 
for label and scrolling down we can display the units in thousands and remove the decimal places for better clarity. Now let's also show units in title as specified by IBCS. Once we are done with the formatting, we can go to the fields pane again and then bring in the division above our business units to create a simple hierarchy. And lastly, let's sort the absolute variance plan ascendingly. So we click a few times to see the arrow pointing upwards. Now let's just position our tables visual to the left side of the dashboard and we are done. Great, we have finished the first part of visualizing our data with Zebra BI tables. In the next video, we will continue building our dashboard with Zebra BI charts.